Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Right, you've been Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV, and we are Bloodstock Open Air, and I am with Imicus. Hey, man. How are you? How are you? Hello. You played earlier on in the Sophie tent, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I heard it went really, really well. Yeah, well, um, we came here, you know, uh, not necessarily expecting to blow people out or anything, but we wanted to come and have a good time and put on the kind of show we try our best to do. And uh, we're just really, really blown away by everyone's reaction. It's been really, really good, so, um, yeah, hopefully uh, come back again, really. <laughs> And you're promoting a new album at the moment, yeah? Uh, not at the moment, no. Um, we've just sort of finished uh, sort of touring cycle and everything for the last album, and we've basically just uh, come out of the studio for a couple of festivals. Uh, Bloodstock here today, and then Border Bash again tomorrow. Um, another sort of a minor festival next week for charity, and uh, back in the studio for the rest of the year, pretty much. And then new album next year, hopefully. New one next year. Yes. <laughs> And um, uh, what can we expect from the new album? Is it much on the same lines as the last one? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure Mark's got plenty to say on that. <laughs> Clear my throat. <laughs> uh, it's very pushing out of either direction. Very heavy, very melodic. Um, just still focusing on what the core elements of Animal Factory was, but really pushing each thing. So huge choruses, heavier shit riffs. Uh, a lot of groove, real catchy stuff. So, uh, yeah, it lo it's looking like um, very roughly there'll be a, a new single probably around Christmas time with a video. New album, uh, it's early to say, but it would be early 2012, roughly. But it's sounding immense what we got so far. So, really cool stuff. Where's a quick place people could look you up if they've never heard of you before? Have you got stuff on YouTube and so yeah. far? Yeah. yeah, but YouTube, all the normal stuff, Facebook slash Imacus, MySpace slash Imacus. Oh, yeah. If you Google Imacus, it'll yeah, just yeah. come up at the top anyway, there's a whole load of stuff, so it's really easy to find us. You've actually come up with a name that nobody else has got then? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> there's a first. You yeah, yeah. type in somebody's band and say, oh, God, there's about four or five of us. What are we going to do? Yeah. It's also a spaceship in the uh, video game EVE Online, so you might get some results <laughs> oh, come up about that. Ignore those. Ignore somewhere, those. somewhere way down the list. No, no it's, um, we, we kind of got the name. It, we, it's kind of like a rough Latin approximation, um, which means an attack of the mind, oh, right. which is kind of why we chose it. It, it doesn't, you know doesn't jump out like that but we're, kind of, we're the kind of band that like when our fans put the work in to actually learn some stuff about us you kind of reel, reel a few layers of things and you know find there's a bit more to it than just we play a few songs so. we're kind of like an onion in that way <laughs> that's probably um, right now is the explanation that I got for the band so that's the first time I've kind of heard it <laughs> I've been in the band for a year and a half now so I don't think I've ever asked you where the name come from yeah, yeah, we, don't really, we don't really talk about this stuff until we get interviewed and we go oh yeah by the way so, yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> so if you get asked the question you'll be able to answer it next time exactly yeah I bet you can't remember <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what um, what sort of show do you put on for the guys if you know people haven't seen you they might come along and say this is what they're going to do, what are you going to do? Well, um, in terms of a performance, uh, we're kind of a bit of a mixed bag because um, we have uh, moments of quite high energy, um, you know, there's sort of a few snippets of beat downs and things like that, and then other parts of the music will be sort of quite ambient and, um, you know, people can really sort of stop and listen and enjoy the mood, and then we can switch back to going high energy again, so it's kind of a sort of schizophrenic in that way I guess but it's um, a, a bit unpredictable and just keeps things interesting it's good fun you've got good backing now have you uh, we're doing very well we're really really happy with uh, Mick uh, uh, Factory Music and obviously our label uh, Transcend Records uh, they've really really worked wonders for us for the last couple of years and everything so we're absolutely blown away by the support they've given us and uh, you know I, I, we're all really really grateful to them for that um, but yeah you know we're always, always pushing up and up and you know getting onto these new shows and so, uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep working with them and, and you know, reach bigger heights, <laughs> really. Great stuff. So, a final message for the guys out there? Well, um, yeah, like anyone who wants to come and see us, uh, check out our website, Um All our gigs and stuff are always listed on there, and uh, feel free to get in touch with us. We always like to talk to our fans, and uh, certainly uh, we'll always reply, really. So, you know, if anyone wants to speak to us, get in touch, and uh, we'd like to furnish you with some of our music. A venue near you soon. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank Thanks a lot.